Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. Uh, this is Dr. Zina speaking. Uh, today we'll be talking about the most common uh, type of uh, tumor that is uh, in the mouth, which is known as the squamous cell carcinoma. But before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos. Squamous cell carcinoma, it is, as the name suggests, it is a cancer inside your mouth, which is the most common type of malignant tumor. The etiology behind it, number one cause is a smoking, not any smoking, heavy smoker patients. Heavy smoker patients who, spo who smoke 20 pack per day are the heavy smokers. Other causes can be is the beetle nut chewing habit and alcohol as well can also lead to such condition. Now the beetle nut chewing habit, it is common in Asia, uh, especially in India, they have this habit of uh, chewing the uh, beetle nut that is located on the right side as you can see in the picture. Okay, this uh, habit is not good because uh, if you did it uh, multiple times per day, it may increase the susceptibility for having uh, such type of cancer, which is the squamous cell carcinoma. So if you are having such a habit, try to quit this habit before you get the, this type of cancer. Now, for the location, most common location intraorally is the lateral surface of the tongue, as you can see in the picture that is to, uh, on the left. Whereas the most common site extraorally is the lower lip. So, intraorally, the most common cause is smoking. Okay, uh, smoking and beetle nut chewing habit together with the alcohol. Whereas the most common cause extraorally is excessive sunlight exposure. And this is commonly seen in USA, particularly in Florida, where they go to beaches and all, they get too much sunlight exposure and they might have such a condition at the end. So therefore, sunscreen is a must not sunscreen with an SPF that is 100 because there is no way you will protect yourself from the exposure of the sun by 100. So you need to buy SPF 50 uh, for you to protect yourself uh, from the sunlight uh, exposure. So the clinical presentation, it appears as a non-healing ulcers uh, for more than two weeks. So it will appear as either erythroplakia or leukoplakia, but it will last like for more than two weeks. And if it increases in size, if the ulcer increases in size, uh, normally in aflast ulcers, it will not increase. But if this one increases in size, it will cause pain and dysphagia. Dysphagia means difficulty in swallowing. So how you can confirm your diagnosis if this is squamous cell carcinoma or if this is of alpha ulcers? You will take a biopsy. You will do biopsy. You will take the ulcer and uh, send it to the lab basically to check if it is malignant or no. If it is not malignant, this is alpha ulcer. If it is malignant, this is uh, most properly, of course, it will be squamous cell carcinoma. And immediate treatment is required for the patient. Finally, the treatment is surgery with uh, chemotherapy or radiotherapy, depending on the uh, stage of uh, cancer you have, if it is stage one or stage two, many people, they responded well with surgery and radiation, okay? Uh, or sometimes surgery is enough by itself. So depending on the stage of your cancer, whether it is stage one or stage two, etc. People who smoke and drink will have twice the risk for getting squamous cell carcinoma than people who smoke only. But don't tell me that smoking alone is harmless. No way smoking is harmless. It's never harmless. It's only harmful. Smoking, if it does not cause for you squamous cell carcinoma, it will definitely lead to lung cancer. And lung cancer, it is undetectable in the early stages. It will become detectable in the late stages. What do I mean by this? You will start coughing 
uh, to coughing blood. When you start coughing blood, which means that your lungs are filled of the malignant tumors. And once you reach such stage where you will start coughing blood, then the treatment will be of poor prognosis at the end. Even if you did uh, surgery or chemotherapy, radiotherapy, any of, the, any of that, the prognosis is poor and sometimes it's hopeless. So my advice for you, take care of your health before it's too late. Don't smoke, never smoke. Stop thinking about smoking. Try to focus on other stuff. Try to engage yourself with other stuff so that you can stop smoking if you are a heavy smoker patient.